configure stuff, I'm going to go live, and then we'll just take it from there. All right, everyone out there, good, well, I almost said good morning, good afternoon. Uh, while you were, while some students are getting ready for my class, as well as um, other classes, I'd like you to take a look at this question over here. And you can also look for your social studies notebook. Okay. All right. So, how many of you have your social studies notebook? Who would like to read this question over here? For those, if you are done. Okay, Mr. Henry Ford, can you please leave the question, the the challenge of the day? Here we go. Which president officially recognized Black History Month? Keep going. Ford, Harvard, Obama, Nixon. Okay, so my class, I will be getting the answer from you, but other classes out there, feel free to tell your teachers. Um, you got about one minute, tell your teachers, and your teachers might be sending me something on the document camera, or documents, um, the document, the live document, sorry, with your name if you get it correct. So the question is, which president officially recognized Black History Month? Is it Ford, Carter, Obama, Nixon, Lincoln, or Reagan? Anyone from my class know the answer? I would call on you right now, but I know that answer. We we have to give the other chance, the other classes a chance as well. All right, so everyone out there, I need you to um, can you everyone title this please? Sign of the Beaver, and please put today's date. I know I should be using the document camera. Okay, it is the eighth sign of the Beaver, and if you could write one to eight skipping lines that's going to only help you in your organization of these notes it's, it'll be really simple okay matter of fact I want to be done by 255 because um, at 255 everyone has some required work to do in social studies all right so teachers um, feel free to send me the names of students who um, have given you an attempt at this question okay and then I'll give provide the correct answer in a little bit all right here's what I need you to do check out uh, the updated vocabulary list okay um, the last thing that you saw on this list was squaw from uh, the side of the beaver by the way did you notice we're not reading it today did you notice that okay we're not reading it today in chapter 17, there was Tagle, Genial, Bounty, Gloom, and Wampum. I made a mistake on Wampum. I mentioned Wampum as what? Who remembers my mistake on Friday? Yes, Pele. Yes, I was, I had a, I had a, um, I guess, I, I made a large mistake there. Wampum does not mean beaver. When Atian said, that we, we no longer sell much of our wampum, he meant this. Shells that get turned into these, this decorative um, decorative artwork, okay? Sometimes these things are worn, sometimes they are just displayed. So these are actual shells that come from the ocean that were turned into decorative uh, work. Many times these things tell stories as well, okay? So I made a mistake on wampum. So everyone, there's the updated list. Here's what I need you to do in your notebook. Can you please copy that down? But for example, there's one, there's two, there's number three, there's number four, there's number eight. All right, Mrs. Hughes has submitted two names or one name. Yes. Okay, do me a favor. Tell her to type your names on the document. Okay. No, that's silly. And she did. <laughs> All right. So, number one, squaw. Just write squaw down. Number two, method of cooking meat. Number three, Robinson Crusoe. Number four, snare for trapping. Number five, don't forget about the quotation marks because someone said this, white man not hunt this. Number six, beaver hut or den. Number seven, used for starting a fire. And number eight, trail markers.
Okay, in a little bit I'm going to show you some pictures that you have to match up to these words. So, Neil Armstrong, how are you doing over there? You got these copied on? Groovy. And I'm going to give you a sticky note. I believe your hand was up, Henry Ford. Can you write the name of the subject that you're officially recognized? So here's what we're going to do with these words. I'm going to show you some images. All you have to do is match the picture with the words. Okay? Any questions about some of these words you've written that maybe possibly need clarification? By the way, some of these things will be on tomorrow's quiz, and I'm going to go over that in a little bit. I need to really watch the clock there. I've got like nine minutes. All right, thank you sticking out. So. Boom. All right, so everyone, I'll kind of go back and forth, toggle back and forth from these words to the images. Okay, so ready? I'm going to show you two pictures. Okay, you got to match the picture with the words in your notebook. Okay, right there. Okay. Where does A go? Does A go to number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, or number nine? Okay? Sorry, there's no number nine. So where's A gonna go? All right. Let's do the very first one together. Um, Alexander Hamilton, where did you put A? Okay, it's for number five. Can you please read the words? White man not hunt us. Athian said that. My white man should not be hunting beaver. So number five is A. Okay. I'm going to describe number B, letter B, if you can't see it. Um, it needs some description. Um, these, are, these are different ways that you could bend trees or vegetation so you could identify where you've been or where you're going to go. Okay. Would you like to see C and D? Where are you going to put C and D? And by the way, you get to fix your answers if you make a mistake. Where will you put C? One, two, three, four, six, seven, or eight. Okay, no answers yet. Thank you for raising your hand. Where are you going to put D? Who's ready to go on? Can I move on? So far we've done A, B, C, D, and now here comes E and F. I will give you a little hint on these. Okay, these are two stones. And I believe these stones could be flint. F is a scene from a book. The ship is going down, and this character is on his way to a remote island. Okay. Here's G. This, uh, I believe these are three, possibly four fish hanging on this um, stick. Or vine. H, that's the best picture I could find that represents the Native American term. Okay, so who needs a re who needs to see these again? All right, here we go. Let's quickly tell me. Um, sorry about that, everyone. Okay, what's number one? Who in my class can tell me what's number one? Hey, Pele. H. Okay, we got an H. We're going to come back to these. 
Number two, what's tell me number two? Uh, George, uh, George Alexander Hamilton. G. Okay. Number three. Who'd like to give me number three? Um, let's see here. Abe Lincoln. Okay. Say it again. Okay. F. Say one more time. Okay. F. Okay, that's what I heard. Number four. Okay, Pele. Say it again. D is in boy. Say again. Oh, D is in donut. All right, so everyone, those are half the answers. Here is your. Here's the answer key. Okay, so everyone, you may fix these if you'd like. And of course, A was given before. White man not hunt this. That's what Atien said. And he was um, referring to um, beavers. All right. You're going to see these words on the quiz tomorrow. Anyone want any clarification? Anything you want to dispute? All right, everyone out there, if you are done taking these notes and you fixed your answers, you may close your notebooks. All right, real quick. Um, tomorrow, you saw this on Friday. This has been posted. Uh, expect two quizzes tomorrow. One that serves as a review. It's close our Chromebooks. Everyone needs to close our Chromebooks. Thank you. Quiz one is going to be about chapters uh, 1 to 17 from Sound of the Beaver. Chapter 2 is about colonial exchange and colonial settlement. Any questions? You saw this on Friday. All right. My class. Which president was the first one to recognize Black History Month? Okay, I've got the correct answer right here. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Okay, it is Henry. Oh, sorry. It is Gerald Ford. You are correct, not Henry Ford. Okay. There he is. Okay. This picture is interesting. This is him being sworn in as president. Now, when you think about it, most si most um, most things like this are more ceremonial. Okay, with a huge crowd and everything like that. Now he was sworn in. Anyone know why? Why this seems like a very almost private or not very ceremonial um, event. Uh, why is that um, Neil Armstrong? Yes. Okay. The, he was the vice president. Uh, Richard Nixon was the president. And when Richard Nixon resigned, he officially took over as soon as possible. Okay. So I will talk to the um, teachers who submitted names for Gerald Ford. All right. Real quick. Ooh, we're about one minute. Um, Got one minute to spare here. So in work time today, teachers, I, I've sent you a reminder, and I will do my best to uh, make sure that we're adhering to this. But today, everyone, if you have not done the Jamestown Brain Pop, that is number one. Everyone in this class, I believe you are officially done with it. Okay? Other classrooms, not so much. Okay, so number one, Jamestown, send me the results. Number two, this is not an option today. You have to pick one, two, or possibly three things. You may pick one of these, one of these cahoots to do or these extra credit brain pops. Okay, do we understand that? But I'll probably get this question. Can I do one from here and one from here? Absolutely yes. Okay, so everyone, do you understand this? You're doing a cahoot. And a brain pop or, or any sort of combination, two and one, one and two, whatever. All right. Teachers, please monitor your um, the uh, Chromebook activity. I want to make sure that every student does some extra learning and taking, takes, takes advantage of these opportunities. All right. Any questions for my class? We're good? All right. You may get started. Everyone, um, have a great day. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks.